Hi there, greetings. Let's talk a little bit more about energy balance. All right, we have our system, closed system that is, and there's energy interaction, form of heat, form of work, and all of that results in energy of the system changing and this is equal to changes in internal energy if it's a stationary system system that's not moving elevation remains the same speed is zero stationary stationary system cool and applying a general equation energy analysis there energy in minus energy out that gave us changes in system energy which is equal to change in internal energy for a stationary system and all of that simplified to the q net in it being supplied saying that q in is greater than q out minus work net out saying that work being done by the system is greater than work done to the system and all of that will um, result in change of the energy of the system for a stationary system that energy is internal energy of the system all right no need to put that there. it's already clear okay cool just rewriting that down so this becomes the general form of a stationary system we have looked at the term work net we have looked at the term q net we know what they represent we know that q net is just the difference in the heat that is being supplied to the system and heat leaving the system right this is q net and for work net that okay, this is q net in saying that this is greater than that for work net out this was defined as work out being greater than work being done to the system so the system is doing work and this is beautiful because that's what we're interested in all right beautiful now what about change in you in internal energy how do we get that for a closed system all right change in internal energy right let's just define okay internal energy all right internal energy it's measured in kilojoules so the energy is in kilojoules how do you calculate or how do you evaluate energy this can be evaluated using the general form of what let's say yeah general form mass mass times specific specific internal energy that will give us internal energy Okay, where where specific internal energy is in kilograms? What am I saying? Kilojoules per kilogram. All right, cool. If you multiply that by kilograms, that becomes that gives you kilojoules. All right, gives you kilojoules. If you multiply that by kilojoules kilojoules will cancel and you'll be left with kg which is the internal energy so if you have changes in internal energy you'll have mass you can multiply that you can multiply the mass of the chosen system with with what is this with um changes in internal energy change change in internal energy is the same thing as as we know that change is equal to change at internal energy at state two minus it's just the net net internal then the net or the difference of internal energy so u2 minus u1 all right cool so which can be written as mass times specific internal energy at state 2 minus mass times specific internal energy at state 1 and that and from there we can fit out the m and then we'll be left with in 10 specific internal energy at state 2 minus specific internal energy at step one this is not new 
Think of that as internal energy. And this, this we can use to evaluate internal change, change in internal energy. And provided we know the state, we know two properties at that, at that, at that state, we are able to evaluate, uh, what the internal energy is using the property tables. All right. Um, think, not that I think that's it for this video. Just wanted to define to you what is found in these terms. All right.